right now, Fal. I think you should be called the Parfessor because all this do young man does is rack up par. Parfessor. I love that actually. You are? Oh, he's the Parfessor. He's the Parfessor. Let's go. And if you're looking for collaborations, try and reach out. Rest assured, we've reached out to everyone. We need to rely on the comments down below from the folks there in Long Island. I've never really played golf there. I've been there, but never played golf. Went to Beth Page Black, which could be a foreshadow of what this could be. But we're relying on the comments down below in the celebration of golf. So swinging in to number six on this list, Stonebridge Golf Links. It's a 4.4 out of 5 on Google, and it's a public golf course that is open to anyone at 6,224 yards from those back tees. This is a par 70 that was built in 2001 by Glenn Lannis. It is April to October is the golf season here. And it really does build a foundation of great golf within this island. I've never played golf on the island, but we will in the near future. And if you're from this area, let us know in the comment section the targeted places to play. There's so many at old design courses. Uh, just, it's an amazing location for golf. And here with our number six golf course, it also has a rating of four out of five on golf now with over 1,300 golf reviews and golf pass with almost 1,300 reviews at four out of five. That's pretty strong with that many courses. It's located in Smithtown, New York. And the longest tees are only 6,000 yards, so, you know, don't be afraid to walk the course. The price range, well, it's from $19 to $39, so it's actually extremely affordable. And if you're a local, well, just let them know and show a little bit of proof, and you have to sign up for one of their offers. As we move now into the top five golf courses, it's important to note that this is an independent golf channel. We are trying our best to bring you that best golf content that money can buy. And here with the Parfessor, you're getting the best bang for your buck. So take a look now at our number fifth course, Timber Point Golf Club. Now this one, this one's pretty nice. If you've ever been to this course, I think you know because it's sitting at a four at of 4.5 out of 5 and 180 golf reviews to choose from now depending on the time of the year it's probably going to be closed but it's 27 holes of championship golf that really does but is a bucket list location for most golfers you got the red and the blue courses which are the recommended ones it's a public course stretching 6,641 yards with a slip of 127 and a rating of 70 2.5. What I like about it, well, it's rich history being built in 1927 by H.S. Colt. And that's what we do on this channel. We bring you that educational golf content, swinging into number four, Crab Meadows Golf Course. With 4.3 out of 5 and 213 golf reviews to choose from, this William F. Mitchell designed golf course really does set the tone here at number four stretching 6556 yards with a slope of 118 it was built in 1963 by w f mitchell and stephen k his bermuda grass greens and bent grass putting green surfaces oh my goodness we are cracking into the top three here with the professor swinging in to number three on this list eisenhower park golf course now it's recommended to play the red course here at the eisenhower course there's multiple courses to choose from but before we even get to that it is a 4.2 out of 5 on google with 105 golf reviews to choose from it is considered to be one of the more popular destinations and historical destinations for golf it's a county run course if you played it you know it it's considered to be a top gem Although it does get kind of bad reviews online, this municipal course stretches 6,228 yards, being built in 1951 by Robert Trent Jones. Wow, what a great course. And moving into number two, Montauk Down State Park Golf Course. Look at this, always at the end of the island. One would say this might be a top destination just to get to. It's a 4.5 at a five on google with 301 golf reviews to choose from it's starting price is around 86 dollars but man if you could just make it to this robert trent jones course stretches 6,900 
and 76 yards. The history behind it is unbelievable. Being built in 1968, just State Park ran. Uh, it's got its own Wikipedia page. The golf course track actually was a private course that was established in 1927. Um, it's just seen so many different changes. It was considered the Miami of the North. So much interesting stuff happening on this channel. That's why it's important to think about subscribing down below as we consistently try to bring you that interesting golf talent from these golf designers and what's going on in their head while they're building it. That's what we're trying to do on this channel. We love golf, but more importantly, we're not out there trying to slap it around and showing you what's so frustrating about golf. We're trying to give you that educational golf content. So now moving in to our number one golf course and as you suspect it's beth page black there's not much to say about this you got beth page black course there's multiple courses. i think if you play any of those courses you'd be very grateful to get out there it's a 4.8 out of 5 with 700 golf reviews to choose from in regards to the price it's about 125 dollars built by aw tinning Lass, who is my favorite golf designer this one stretches 7467 yards as Elevations about 125 yards. Saw some updates by Reese Jones in 2015, but for the most part, the slope of 115 it consistently is a demanding golf course year in and year out. You see all this golf, multiple golf courses to choose from. I don't even want is it six or something? Five? Either way, it's a destination for anyone going out there to play golf. And as you know, this is the professor giving you the best golf content money can buy. 